Hi everyone, Idaho Amy here and I want to show you my latest project using the Prima uh, Life Journals that they have. <clears throat> uh, I, a couple months ago I uh, posted a comment um, asking to join their Prima Life Journal project that they're doing and what they did is they sent me the album and then I was supposed to decorate a page and pass it on and basically it keeps getting passed on and then the last person um, gives it back to me and then I mail it into Prima and so we're supposed to decorate the album however we want I believe and uh, so this is the album that I got um, I decorated it a lot it uh, has some beautiful brown uh, print on it and then had different words on it. And my original idea was to take the word sweet that's printed on the front and do the word life on it. Um, and so I had made decorated it all up and I um, thought I was done. And I kept looking at it, kept looking at it, and I just hated how it looked. So I completely redid it and I'll try to explain how I did it. Um, so what I did was I added glassy, gla, 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 glossy accents to the front of the book. And uh, so that's how these words are raised on the page. Um, it's because there's glossy accents over the word. And then um, I had spritzed it um, with some Tattered Angels um, blue ink that I really love. That um, is the same as this that's on these. These were originally white. And so I spritzed them with the ink, and then I added some paint to it um, to make it a little more, it's kind of crusty, which is hard, hard to explain, but it, um, and I rubbed it on there really good. Um, I used um, my pearl um, acrylic um, paint dauber from Ranger, I love that, and I just kind of put a little paint on it and went around the edges as well. But um, how I got all these words on here is um, I used tissue paper. So I don't know if you can see it in the bag, but um, I just had some tissue paper that I got from a friend, Leah. Um, we did a swap together. And I used my um, Ranger Matte uh, Glue and Seal. Um, I used this and I just basically kind of painted it over and then I took strips of that tissue paper and just stuck it down and it stuck so well and um, then I just kind of ran the mat um, over top of it as well to kind of seal it in. And so that's how um, I got all the little words on there and it kind of covered up the glossy accents over the word sweet and so it looks like the letters are stamped on top. And I really liked how that looked. And then I decided I had to add a zipper to it because I put zippers on a lot of my projects and um, it kind of makes it a little more me. And so I found this old vintage zipper in um, a bunch of the zippers that Nikki and Leslie gave me. They're my buddies from Oregon. And so I took this one and it's really cool because it has some like um, aged on it and it's like rust on it and it's like turning green in places. And I just thought it looked really pretty. So I just started it at this end and wound it around and uh, ended it right here. And then I added this Eiffel Tower that I got from Debbie um, in Texas. And I thought that just looked really cool hanging out there because it matched the zipper. And these are uh, Prima flowers that I got. Um, and I just added some old vintage buttons to. Um, I like how worn they are. They they just look really shabby. And here's a humongous um, snap that I had, and I put that as a center there. And then I added a bunch of um, these gears and stuff. I actually got these in a pack from Michaels, and they were really super cheap. Um, I don't know. They came like in a hundred of a hundred of them for f like four bucks or something like that. So check out Michaels um, in the jewelry section. That's where I got these. And then I just added some. This is the uh, want to scrap uh, bling, and it comes in a circle. And um, I just peeled these off and glued them in random places to give it a little more bling on there. Anyway, that's the front. I hope you like it. And I got these flowers from Audra as a prize. 
or thank you or something. So anyway, and I just hot glued um, the zipper on too. So anyway, there's that. And then these albums are so cool. The premium albums, they come with these door knockers on them. And I, and I just love it. And I tried to do a bunch of metal-y embellishments and stuff that kind of matched that. And then, <clears throat> so, it comes with directions on the inside, and I won't bore you with those. But this is the page that I made. So this one's mine. Um, and I have a bunch of the ladies in my uh, Facebook group that are working on pages that I can add to here. And I did the same kind of treatment with the tissue paper as I did here with the um, matte um, glue and seal. So um, that's how I got the words on here. And then I just spritzed it with uh, some inks that I got. Um, let me see what colors they are. Some of, they're the, this is the blue Tattered Angels that I used and I, it's wore off, but I believe it's like jeans or something, or arctic something. But it's a really pretty dark blue. And I really, really like that one. And it's almost out. And then the green that I used on here is this uh, smooch spritz that Graphic45 sent me as a prize. And I finally got around to using it on a project. And it's like, it's like luscious something or... Um, not sure, but it's a green, a really pretty green color. So those are the two colors that I used um, to ink it up with. And I also inked the flowers on here. And then on the other page that I did, I used a little bit of uh, this other smooch spritz. Um, actually, no, it wasn't this one. I take it back. It was this. Nope, wrong one. I should really be um, more on the ball when I do these videos, but um, it's this one right here, this uh, Cherry Blossom by, I can never pronounce that, I have no idea how to say that word, but, um, so it's the Walnut Ink, so I use that as well for inking the pages. Um, so those are the colors of ink I used, and uh, so um, I also use some more of my pearl paint that from Ranger. I love that stuff. And this is the Graphic 45 um, flowers that they have and more of those cherry blossoms that I got from Karen. These I got from Karen and I just, um, they were brown and like a orangey rust color and I spritzed them with green and that's how they turned out. They turned out really pretty. And more of those gears and a button and uh, some scrap lace that I had. And this is from, I believe, Glitz. It's a sane. And uh, then this is a frame that I got from uh, Debbie. I tried to include a lot of items that I'd gotten from swaps from the ladies in my group since they're the ones that will be doing this album with me. But again, another graphic flower here. And here's um, a zipper. And this one actually just broke off of somebody's jacket. And I found it. And it's, I'm so bad. Um, and I could not like just leave it laying there. It was at um, my kid's daycare and it was just sitting there on the floor and I was like, I am going to put that into something. So I brought it home and I've been holding on to it and it was perfect color to match with the black accents that I have on here with the paper clip and stuff. So I had to glue that on there as well. And then I have a little bit of Tim Holtz tissue tape in a few places just, you know, for some texture. So there's that page. And then this one, this page, is the one of my family. And so um, here's some of the blue and the pink. And there's some green in there too. And then I, this one was an orange, orange flower. And I just put a little blue over top of it to um, give it some dimension. And I snuck in a little bit of Graphic 45 in there. I'm a big Graphic 45 fan, but I'm also a very big Prima fan. I love, love, love Prima. So, um, you know, so I snuck a little bit in there on my page because, um, you know, had to do that a little bit. But um, here's another one of the spritz flowers that I did and some more of those um, gears that I got. So, anyway... So there's that one. 
I hope you guys like this. Um, I've got it started, and I'm still looking for more ladies in my group to help me out and finish it. Part of the idea of it was that we weren't supposed to mail it out anywhere, you know, from place to place to place. We're just supposed to um, keep it local, and uh, as far as I know. Um, but I have most of my scrapbooking buddies um, are on Facebook, and so we're from all over the United States. And so I really wanted them to be a part of this um, album, the Prima Life album that uh, I'm doing. So they're submitting or sending in um, pages, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, attach them in. And uh, <clears throat> so come on really good um, craft paper. Um, it's nice and sturdy. And uh, really great albums. Um, if you didn't get to take part in this um, uh, Prima uh, Life Journal thing, I would suggest going and buying your own album. They're just really, really great albums. And um, really pretty leather bindings and stuff. So they're really well made, worth the money, and uh, they'll really last a long time. And you can do some really neat things if you're really into the... Um, painting and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, the pages are great to work with for painting and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys like this album that I've been working on and thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.